Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. I'm here with my guest, Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> God damn, come on. I was gonna, my plan was to start sad and then talk about the Jets, but now you made me start even more sad because we lost our icon, Jimmy Buffett. That was like a month ago, I feel like. It was like two weeks ago. Was it? I think it was when you were in Portugal. So you was, definitely didn't, you didn't know it was happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were you were on another plane of existence. Things happen. I saw something recently that like there's a um you know like a, a, a an influencer online. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Make myself sound more like a fucking boomer. Yeah. Uh, who's like, people are mad at her because she took like, just like a provocative picture. And she was like, thinking of Jimmy Buffett today. And it was like, what, what? the fuck? Yeah. Like, what do you, like, RIP Jimmy Buffett. You know, the way that people always just like do something to make themselves sound more important and involved. Like, yeah. people should reach out to them when someone dies. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yeah. But. Man, I love that one song. Uh, I know I I have his uh, uh, changes in latitudes, changes in attitudes album, and it's it's good. It's I don't know, dude. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> I just like the drink, margaritas. I don't think did he he make up Margaritaville like the margarita drink? Definitely not, right? I believe that was the Hispanics, the Mexicans. Could be. Go ahead, say it. I don't know that. It's say it with Mexican. the contempt that I know you have. Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I. He I don't did know. make that giant margarita machine, though. What? You never seen his margarita machine? Like they're like margarita makers. It's called like the Jimmy Buffett margarita maker. I would love a margarita maker. That's what I'm saying all the time, dude. I love margaritas. Oh, it, I gotta say, I used to be such a big slut for frozen margs. Me too. But then I had one on the rocks. Better, in my opinion. What? Frozen is rocks. No, First no, no, rocks. no, 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 no. Like liquid. Like frozen is like a slushy. On the rocks yeah. is like they make the drink and they pour it over ice. Yeah, yeah. I, I usually have that. I don't only get frozen margs. Oh, I, I thought that was like, the, uh, until I turned like 23, I had only had frozen margs. No, I get frozen margs when it's a hot, hot day. It is because it melts. Well, because it's cold. One of my favorite margarita stories was... Um, <laughs> You have margarita of stories? Of course I have margarita stories. He's got a vault of margarita stories. The first time um, uh, we went as like friends to Miami, when I had gotten... Because remember all those places... <laughs> the way I you know, worded that was weird. Like we've been there before. But as not friends. As not friends or as lovers. <laughs> no, because I had been to Miami prior to when we all went. Yeah. But like the first time we went and on Ocean Drive, you know, they have all those food places and it's always buy one, get one free on the drinks. It's like 20 bucks and the drinks are fucking... You get some fat marks there. You get like a like a fucking Lizzo sized drink. You know what I'm saying? No one likes her anymore. I can say it. <laughs> oh my God. Just a bigger sized drink. You know, what was what? You no, they can't hear him. Joey's been holding me ransom. He can't say anything right now. Honestly, I can hear you, but I wonder how long that was out. I think you knocked it out. There's no way I did that at one foul swoop. What? Foul swoop? Is that it? Fail swoop? One foul swoop? One fail swoop. It's not fail. I think it's fail. You're also like almost saying soup. <laughs> it's swoop. <laughs> Whatever it is. One foul. One fail soup. I, I no. meant that it's just a larger drink when I said it's Lizzo sized. I know what you meant. <laughs> Would you think? I, of course I know that's what you meant. Well, the, right now is the time to make the jokes because not everyone's mad at Lizzo. Mm -hmm. When people get mad at people, that's when you can make the most jokes about them. Okay. You know. <laughs> But it, it, and it was the Corona ones that had two full Coronas in it. Yeah. And a fucking giant margarita. I got remember I got a mango one. Oof. And then it came for two. It came with two. Yeah. So I finished two of those and I couldn't fucking see straight. I was fucking drunk, dude. Yeah. Very 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 drunk. Mm -hmm. And then we went back to uh, a, an Airbnb or whatever a rental that had no air conditioning. Yeah. Yeah. And we had a good times. Remember we had met like like. Bunch of girls from Texas, and we they were like, from Atlanta. Were they Atlanta? Yep. Are you sure? <laughs> I thought it was from Houston. No, I, I'm pretty sure it was Atlanta. Oh, either way, and we like went in and like raided their huge butts. Oh, I wasn't going with. I said raided there, and you said huge butts. Oh, oh, that's we, not <laughs> we did. We, we didn't raided we, their asses. 
we took, we dug all the shit out. No, yeah. we didn't. Ew, dude. That's what you said. I'm not. Uh, no one mentioned poop. You just. What else are you rate an ass for, Joey? What else does it contain? It could be an innuendo. But I wasn't. I didn't even mean to say that. But you, I, you went with. I, I don't think shit. Out I of don't their think ass. there was anything innuendous about what you said. I think you. There was is that a word. It is now. I like the way it sounds. I, I have no qualms with it. How badly did you want to say qualms today? Oh, it sounds like you like just tried to fit that in. A little bit, a yeah, little bit, but uh, like yes. Yeah, so now I'm double sad because of the Jets and because of Jimmy Buffett. Thank you for making me double sad. It's okay. No. It's not. This is this is what people don't understand about being a Jet fan. This is the like you can't be disappointed by something if you live in disappointment. Uh, I think you could. Well, you can, but like this is the most Jets thing to come out of this scenario. You know what I mean? Like he. I mean, you guys won. We did win. Yes, great. And, and on a, a let's be honest, great game. Yeah, incredible game. In- incredible game. Uh, but. Fucking Aaron Rodgers, he, he lasted, what, three more plays than Abraham Lincoln. Not that, like, it's just such a, <laughs> such a jet thing to happen. <laughs> I heard that. I, I got I, I didn't make that up. You got If you came up with that, we'll just cut these cameras off and we'll just give you a Netflix special because that is an incredible joke. <laughs> I heard someone else say it. I can't take credit for it. <laughs> That's so funny. But, like... You know, like, <laughs> what the fuck here, man? Yeah, that's a rough one. But you can't beat the Jets on 9-11, not in New York. Come on. The, the, the Bills. We played that's another New, New York, York team. I agree. It's a Canadian team at best. Yeah, it is. You might as well move them to Vermont or New Hampshire or somewhere stupid. Also not Canada, but, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know that. Also closer. Closer to... Buffalo is further than Vermont. No, it's not. Yeah, you can be in Vermont quicker than you can be in Buffalo. Buffalo is... Another country. Really? It's on the fucking cusp of Canada. On the on the tip. I don't know why that's tip. <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> that's the thing, though. It isn't, though. You know? Yeah, no. I've never been up to Buffalo. Mm, I think neither. For, I don't, I, like, furthest north I've been is, like, the Catskills. When we went and you got, you pooped in the woods. Remember that? No. And that little asshole threw up gummy bears all in our tent. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah no, fucking no, little remember, douchebag. Yeah. I did shit in the woods like a Charmin bear. You did, and you did wipe your... You told us and everyone here he wiped his ass with his hand. I never said yes, that. Yes, you did. Now it's now it's history. Now no, the world cause... believes it. Cut the clip right now. No. <laughs> yeah, right now. Joey wiped I, his ass with his hand. I actually didn't wipe my ass with anything, and I just kind of like went Hell, home and showered. So you had just like just poop cheeks? It wasn't poop cheeks. I just, I mean, I'm sure there was some sort of residue. Yeah. I went home and showered. Yeah, well, fucking whatever. It's still gross. That walk home was probably just awful. What do you want me to do? Grab a, a fucking bundle of poison ivy and go to town? Come on, you know what poison ivy looks like. You could have wiped your ass. I honestly don't, because they say, like, oh, it's the red stem. Red that, stem, three mad leaves. Mad shit has red stems. Red stem, three leaves. That's it. Nope. Yes. I, would, I don't have time to count. Joey, very simple. One, two, three. I, Frank, you got it. You got it, man. You yeah, can do it. Yeah, but then it. the red, and what's red? You know, red. Is it? No, yeah, it is. Red is red. I feel like. Watch this. Colors are a spectrum, Frank. Not for you. <laughs> Maybe for people that are colorblind, which I can guarantee you are not. Red is yeah. red. You could have figured it out. Hold on. Have you ever had someone have this conversation with you of being like, "This color, right, is blue." Mm-hmm. I see it as blue, but maybe you see it as red. Nope, I see blue. <laughs> You're not understanding. No, I'm gonna. I hate conversations like this but because you, they're like the universe is all a subjective fucking goo. I. <laughs> I hate this conversation. But you get what I mean? I, I get what you're saying. Like, like the, maybe the, you're seeing the, the shade blue of red. that I see might be the red in your eyes and stuff like that. Stupid. Isn't that? No. Do you believe it? Kinda, but I hate it. Wait, you think so you think that's possible? Of course I think it's possible. I don't. I think it's horse. So it's either one way or the other for you? No. Don't try to make this about <laughs> something. <laughs> It's um, either just spitting out. Just it's either black or white for you, Joey. Yeah, no, that's not no, what I meant. Nothing in the middle. I I think that colors make you feel something. Yeah, I agree. You ever like like when you look at red and you get hot and hungry? You know. Nope. Yes. Yes. You, you know. You see exactly. the color red and you go, "I want to eat." Yes. 
Really? Yeah, that's why a lot of if you look at a lot of like chain restaurants, they are the, the color red is prominent. Yeah, but I don't think it's because it makes the people hungry. No, I'm telling you, it does. There have been studies that that suggest that like colors elicit certain like brain activity. I know that. Oh well, then then listen to what I'm saying. You're not listening to me. I agree. I'm the one who said that I think colors make you feel stuff. You said hungry. I said whoa. Hold yeah. On, not yeah. Hungry. Yeah. 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 I think it makes you. It's like. It makes you feel like that. So let me ask you a question. <laughs> and I don't know if this would be a good Patreon episode. So if you think it would be, let's just cut it off here. But like if I were to say – because there are people out there that I believe it's, it's called like tardive dyskinesia or something like that. You Who? God bless. Who? <laughs> I believe it's called tardive or tardive dyskinesia. I, I'm going to look it up to confirm. But the, the idea is that like they can hear colors and they can smell numbers – and stuff oh. like that. What um, do you think the smelliest number would be? A condition affecting the nervous system often caused by long-term use of psychiatric drugs. Uh, wait a sec. Uh, maybe I'm wrong here. <laughs> it sounds like it. Okay, maybe. Are you talking about like synesthesia? Maybe it's synesthesia. I could be wrong. Tardive dyskinesia could be something else. And forgive me if you are out there and you're fucking sniffing blue. But yeah. If, if numbers had a stench, which one would smell like shit? I know my answer. Three. No way. It smells like butt, dude. Look no, at it. It's I, a big butt. I, I was going to say eight. Eight. Yeah, well, yeah, eight, too. Eight, eight looks like tits. Yeah, but tits don't smell bad. Yeah, that's why I'm, I didn't say eight. You said eight. But they don't... That. But I... Like, you, in your head, you have a color associated with a number. What's the, what's the best smelling number? Seven. Or nine. Nine? Nine's pretty sweet. I would sniff a fucking two, though. Really? Yeah. Again, with that's weird because that's what people use as poop when they say like gotta drop a deuce. That's nothing to do with the way that that a number smells, though. Yeah, I would think two smells probably like one probably smells like two vanilla. You know what I'm saying? Like zero is like a brown smell, like an earthy dirt. Yeah, and we know how much you hate the brown. I would say that like three, <laughs> four. I hate five. Probably pretty good too. Yeah. Um, if I were to like give you a number. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me the color that comes to your mind? Like if I were to say like nine. Orange. Wow. I was going to say red. We're there. We're in the same book. Okay. I would say. Uh, I'll throw a number at you. Okay. Four. Blue. I Four got, is blue I for me. Green. Uh, yeah, green. Well, you know, we're, in the, we're kind of in the same boat again. How, how though? Well, because guess what, Joey? Guess what's made to hold make on, hold green? On. Blue and yellow. This one? Eight. It's like yellow. Oh no, I went purple, babe. Oh, I like. It's well, like don't don't color. say it with disgust, because you know purple is my favorite color. I'm not. I like purple. You better. Or what? Or <laughs> what? I don't like the colors that you like. Six is also a red. You also don't wear a lot of purple. I well, I don't. I I, I kind of do. You also the other day I was just here. You I wore a pair of purple shoes and you go, wow, those shoes are purple. And I go, yeah, and you go, okay. Like, you didn't say that you liked them or you disliked them. You said, oh, purple shoes, huh? And you know how I knew it was a thing? Because Greg said the exact same thing as I was walking out. He goes, oh. You don't see purple shoes all the time. I wear purple shoes. Purple's my favorite color. I like purple. Okay. What's your favorite color? Oh, oh, oh. green. Oh, oh. It is green. I, of course it is. Because right it, now it's green. Right now? Yeah. It switches? Yeah. Depending on? Uh, I don't know. I just I go through, like, changes sometimes. What has sparked another color being your favorite color? I don't know color? what sparks it. What has green done I to you? I just start liking a color a lot. Like, oh, I, I, and I like start like. Something tells me you're like a summer yellow guy. Like the no. moment like yellow starts to pop in the sun, you're like, yeah. I'm not really into yellow too much as the main color. I do like it when it's like a, like, you know, a secondary color like that. Yellow on darker skinned men just doesn't work for me. You know what I mean? That's why I, I like like kind of like darker colors, like purple, blacks. You know, stuff like that really works well with me. Yeah. What's funny about that? <laughs> what is funny about what I said? I don't know, man. I have a question for you since we're talking. Um, <laughs> this is a podcast. <laughs> oh, since we're talking. Since we're talking, I have a question for a you. A scheduled podcast. I saw this online, and I need to know your opinion. Do you think it's creepy... Oh, God. To watch your boys have an orgy. When you say your boys, my friends? 
you, you, your unborn sons? Yeah, yes, I don't Joey. know. I'm not saying you're unborn. Yes, it would be weird to watch your children have sex in any capacity. Period. Like yeah. we could put the nail in that coffin right now. <laughs> okay, good. Because I was unsure where you okay. were going. Well, I hope you knew me enough. To know that I would never ask that fucking question. I don't like to assume because I make it, you make an ass out of you, you and, and me. You and me, yeah. Okay, well, welcome back to third My grade. My dad used to say that. Yeah. And then... And then he would beat punch you. Punch me in Yeah, the- of course. <laughs> <laughs> is it weird to... Like, your friends. Like, is it weird to watch your boys have what an is, orgy? What is watch? Like... Sit I, down. I'm there? Well, what does watch mean, Joey? Video. Oh, either way. Let's start with if you're there. That's yeah? Right. Yeah. Yes. Why am I watching? Okay, well, what if they want you to watch? Who? Your boys. Cool. <laughs> no. I go, nope. What if they're like... Why do I... I don't have a right. desire. What if I'm like, Joey, I need to talk to you really quick. I need your help with something. I can't get going. Unless I'm there? Unless you're watching me. And I, go, I know... Oh, dude. You're in love with me and you're gay. <laughs> I'm not... Whoa, I'm not gay! I know... But you just said I... You're the gay one! <laughs> you're fucking... Ever. You just said I can't get going unless you're there. I'd no, be like, oh, maybe, maybe this is a time to look in the mirror a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> no, but uh, all right, I was using myself as a hypothetical there. But like, what if, what if one of your boys like asked you like, yo, like they, they, as a group, we want you to watch. Who's there? Oh, the who? Like, who are you talking? All about? the people involved. Everyone in the orgy. Oh, I thought you meant a single day. No, it's not a singular pronoun. I'm going with here, Joey. I'm I going with know. a collective they. Okay. Yeah. A group of they them's. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Honestly, I've now talked myself out of understanding. Gotcha. <laughs> Who is in this room? All right. Yeah. I'm going to name a couple of your friends. Let me just wipe the slate. Wipe, wipe the slate. Go ahead, okay, Cena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Myself. Yep. Pete. Okay. Geo. You, you've now put... All, all of equal looks. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We could throw Espo in there. Okay. And... This is a lot of people, Frankie. Okay. Four boys. Yeah. Men, I should say. <laughs> and then four women. Yeah. You know. And we're like, watch. So you guys came to me you're like, yo, it'd be dope if you just sat there and watched. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be like, it's cooler if I also had a girl. <laughs> oh, you want to be a part of the orgy? That's way better than sitting in the corner <laughs> like a fucking vampire. I just want to. Just like behind a just, <laughs> I just want to be clear. I do think it's creepy, but for the sake of the comedy, mm. I'm gonna you just break down the the, uh, the I broke third fifth. Fourth? I broke it down. I have to break it down because sometimes people think that I'm just a fucking crazy person on these shows. So what if people approach you and were like, "Yo, just watch my watch me." No, watch me, watch me. What? Watch me whip. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you were doing? Oh my god, yo, I could cry right now. I can't believe you did that. I'm sorry. Oh god, that's so I'm sorry, bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alright, cut that out. Josh, come back. You're it's just a kid. You're fine. Oh yeah, Josh had a kid. Yeah, Josh had a kid. <laughs> Congrats, Congrats. Josh. Congrats, buddy. That's awesome. But also <laughs> Josh is right, yo, it's the most Josh thing in the world. Like he uh they they had the baby and everything was like fine. And then uh there was like a period of time where I guess he wasn't really active in the chat or something. And then Adam, he comes out of nowhere and just goes, this shit is fire. <laughs> That's all he said. He's like, this shit is fire, dude. Um, so, okay. Weird watching. You're saying. Yeah. I think Would you watch. I'd be more inclined to watch strangers though. Than people I knew. Yeah, because I can walk away from them and never know them or see them again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if I need to look, if I, if I watch you have sex Every time I see you, I'm thinking of you Sat- having you're, sex. Yeah, you're thinking and of my I don't bare want butt. That. You're thinking of my bare butt. Your bare butt and, and balls. balls. Your bare old, butt balls. Big old bread ball. Big old bread. <laughs> <laughs> like that's just like that's it. That's all I could think of now. Yeah. Not all I can think of, but like when I would see you. That's yeah. No, it's all you can think of. No, no. When yeah. I would Every see you. Every birthday when you blow out your fucking candles is all I can think of. Well, yeah, I'd be thinking of that whore mouth of yours, just blowing fucking spit all over my cake. Because you were in the orgy, Joey. Why would I be blowing out your candles? <laughs> we do it together as a group. Who? On your birthday, we're all blowing out candles? Everyone blows out candles on birthdays. Like, everyone it's like, come on. No, they don't. Oh, I have kids, so. 
Like I, I don't blow so up. So on your birthday, the whole family gets together and forms a, a whirlwind. Well, the kids do. So, so the kids are all blowing out the candles at the same time. Yeah. Do you blow them out? Yeah, a little. But I let them do the most of it, you know. Wow. So it's, they take your wishes. Bro, kids love blowing out candles. Do you make birthday wishes? I haven't made one since my dad left. This. <laughs> your dad never left. He just went on vacation to Columbia. For, and that was like two years ago. For half, <laughs> for half the year, every year, forever. Um, no, but I I didn't really make birthday wishes. Also, over the years, there's just so many different things that you can wish now. I lo- Yeah, and I love that people were just... Uh, first of all, I, I learned... Smear the name. I learned from what? the... Well, our family, it was... They would they would tell the... Like, my mom would be like, do the cross with the blade of the knife. I guess it was a Greek thing. Yeah, I'm serious. That my mom would, and she, anytime she would do it, she would say like in her head, like a Greek prayer. Not in her hair, like like in her head, like a, a load. <laughs> <laughs> she was saying a prayer in her hair. <laughs> she, no, but she'd be like, <laughs> like, like, just cut the fucking cake. Was she really? Yeah, I swear, to this day, I, she does it. Some people have the weirdest birthday, like, fucking traditions, and it, like, drives me nuts. One of my favorite TikToks I've seen is the girl that's, like, you go to the family, and they have, like, a weird, like, second verse of the birthday song. You never seen that TikTok? No. Oh my god, it's so fucking funny, and it's like, may your wishes be granted. Let no. the good Lord sing. Yeah, it's like, oh there god. are people that do that. There are people where it's like, all right, cut it, do the first cut, and then smear your name. The only thing that I will smash s- your head in the cake, and I'm like, bro, what is? I this? learned against that because I've seen people get like stakes in their eyes and shit like that. Stinks. Ste- stakes, Joey. Stakes. I heard stinks. No stakes. Steaks? Why is there steaks? Not, not fucking prime rib. I don't think it's prime rib. There are some bakery. Why are we yelling at each other? (laughs) The steaks. I'm thinking vampires. There are some bakeries that like fucking make their cakes in order to have them not topple over. They put wooden steaks in them. Steaks in the cakes. Yes. It's not a wedding cake. It's a birthday cake. Some people get pretty elaborate cakes, Joey. Two cakes. That's all. Two layers of cake. Some people go bigger. Some people go batter. Some people go smaller. Some people go fatter. All right, Dr. Seuss, shut up! <laughs> but I've seen like people saying like this is why you shouldn't smash heads and cakes because it's like the steak right in people's eyes and shit like or that. Or because it's a cake and we'd like to eat it. Yeah, I w- I'm pretty upset when people have done that in the past. I will say the only thing that my family like sticks to with like the is the cross. The cross and the first piece goes to the birthday boy and or girl. Got it. Whoever the birthday person is. Yeah. They get the first piece and then they can give everyone else whatever they want. Ours is like my mom is like, oh, you make the first cut. Oh, like, not, like, you're, like you're cutting the ribbon to a fucking new business or something? <laughs> yeah, no. like a new hair salon. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, uh, that's the only one. Yeah, I don't know. Now, let me ask you a third question. <laughs> if your boys ask you to watch them have an orgy, but there's, birthday there's cake? a red velvet birthday cake <laughs> there. <laughs> I know how much of a slut you are for some red velvet. Isn't red velvet just like something? It's just like red. Yeah, it's like just there's cake. nothing. It's it's cake, but red. I'm sure there's some fucking hyper baker out there that's gonna be like, actually, it's the application of fucking sodium bicarbonate. No, I, uh, <laughs> I haven't had a red velvet cake in a long time. Really? Yeah. What's like your birthday cake? Funfetti vanilla ice cream. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm a I'm a Car- vanilla ice cream. What am I saying? You know, I know what you meant. I know what you meant. I'm a Carvel ice cream cake boy to the day I die. You ever have a fudgy the whale? Hum, a fudgy the whale. That sounds, what is that? <laughs> it sounds like something you would like, like, like call a fat kid in like fifth grade. But no, it's, yeah. it's a big fat. Hey, fudgy! <laughs> I'll fudge you the whale. Fudge you the whale, get over here, piece of shit. Fat fuck. <laughs> fudge you the whale. Um, but it's a big cake from Carvel, and it's in the shape of a, it's a fudge cake in the shape of a whale. I'm going to put this out there. Fudgesicles, fudge cake, fudge ice cream. It's fucking disgusting. No. F- what? First of all. T- it's t- fucking t- gross. I'm cool with not having a... I, I don't... It's the worst form of chocolate, dude. Fudgesicles are incredible. No, me. they're not. They're overrated at best. And no. don't even get me started on how fucking disgusting creamsicles are. Creamsicles are pretty bad. But I'll eat one on a hot day. But fudgesicles are great. No, they're not. So what's your best fudge pop school? What? I tried to say all that at the same time. <laughs> What's your favorite popsicle? 
like an orange popsicle, like a regular juice orange popsicle. Why are we got to go like, here's iced chocolate milk. Ugh. No, it's good. No, it's not. It's disgusting. It's good. It's disgusting. I, I feel like a fucking, a poor orphan when I had one, you know? They don't get fudgicles. They don't, well, no, they definitely get fudgicles. Why? Uh, it's just where I imagine that they're <laughs> consumed the most. <laughs> they get fudgicles. You know, I've never seen an orphanage. Yeah, I don't think they like are like big anymore. Like I've never seen like walked by like oh that's the orphanage and the orphans are outside playing basketball. Yeah, you know that's a great question. That's a great point. I don't think I've seen one too. Where are? The I think they're meant to like hide in plain sight. They like don't have like signs on the front of the building. They're not like Scientology. They don't want people to join. <laughs> Come through to the orphanage. <laughs> Leave your parents. We have the the world's most renowned orphanage. Do you think orphanages? When I think of orphanage, I think of a bunch of cots. I think of like Mike. <laughs> like yeah, that, that makes movie. sense. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So, but I, but like even they had. Oh, I think like like Annie. Like they all get like it's one giant room that has like just like like fifteen twin beds in it. Yeah, like Madeline. Remember that book? Yes, I do remember Madeline. Yeah. So it's like that. That's what I imagine. An That's what I would imagine like. too. And I and I imagine like all the dinners are like served like with a ladle. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a big pot ladle. They mostly have gruel, just bowls and soup. Yeah, yeah, and porridge. The easiest things that, and cheapest things that you could make. Yeah, I don't know what porridge is, but it's oatmeal. You, you know what's funny? A couple episodes ago, I brought up porridge, and you, you told me it was oatmeal, hot oatmeal, or cold oatmeal. Yeah, I'm not like confident though. I, just I don't, say I things. don't know. I'll never have it because of the name alone. You know. No, I don't know. Porridge. That doesn't sound delicious. You can't say porridge without pour. There it is. Get to those ads. <laughs> I, I know that's exactly what you were teeing up right there. Get to those fucking ads right now. <laughs> Listen, guys. Uh, we do have ads today. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online therapy. If you want to talk to a therapist in just under 48 hours, you can do so with BetterHelp, and they will help you through whatever you're going through. Even if you're not going through anything super traumatic or you feel like, I don't really need this. I don't, I'm fine. Whatever. It's like going to the gym for your brain. All right? So it's good to be in therapy. Even if you have some big life decisions coming up or something like that, uh, talking to a therapist can help you through all of those things. So it really is for everyone. And I've been in therapy for a couple of years now, and I think it's incredible. Um, so, yeah, go check out BetterHelp. Um, if you, uh, you know, are worried about the cost, uh, you know, I know – People have probably heard that therapy is really expensive. Like when you do like in-person therapy, it's it can be a lot, especially you know if you don't have the right insurance. Uh, but uh, BetterHelp is more affordable than that, and you can save an extra ten percent off your first month if you go to BetterHelp.com/basementyard. That is BetterHelp H-E-L-P dot com slash basementyard. Save ten uh, percent off of your first month. All right, so go enjoy and do a little therapy. Uh, and next here we have ZocDoc. ZocDoc is awesome. Uh, it's the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. Um, I've used ZocDoc before uh, because I honestly, after uh, my mo my mom used to take me to the doctor, and then when I was too old for that, I was like, I don't even know what to do. So you go on ZocDoc, you put in the insurance that you have, and then you could find, uh, like I said, patient reviewed doctors in your area and their next available appointment. A lot of them are available within 24 hours, so you know you can get to the doctor pretty quickly. Um, and it's good that it's patient reviewed because it's not like some sponsored thing where you know or the doctors are reviewing themselves or something like the patients go in depending on their interactions uh you know that's how they're reviewed so you know if you find a good doctor that has a, a slot open you know you feel good about that and that's kind of how you pick your doctor and i i don't know how else to do it honestly i think this is the only way to do it uh but you can go to zocdoc.com slash basement and download the zocdoc app for free then find and book a top rated doctor today uh, like I said, many are available within 24 hours. Uh, that's z o c d o c dot com uh, slash basement. Um, so yeah, get to it, enjoy it. Zocduck dot com slash basement. I'm gonna sneak in another one here with bird dogs because the summer is still here and you need a nice pair of shorts. And bird dogs has stretchy khaki shorts. Uh, they're designed to fit slimmer through the thigh and give your leg a truly sculpted look. Okay. 
I have a bunch of pairs of bird dogs, and when I put them on, I feel real nice because they hug you in the places that you want them to hug, and then they open up where you want them to open up. They don't keep everything suffocated. It's very nice, and they have a lot of different styles and patterns, and it's awesome. Okay, they also use an anti-stink sweat wicking fabric for those of you uh, who get a little stinky and sweaty, uh, and it keeps you cool and dry all day long. Um, and you can go to birddogs.com slash basement or enter the promo code basement for a free Yeti style tumbler with your order. That's birddogs.com slash basement or the promo code basement for a free Yeti style tumbler. Uh, you won't want to take these bird dogs off. Okay. And go get yourself a free little uh, Yeti style tumbler. Who doesn't need any more of those? You know, keep your, your drinks cool. Uh, but yeah, go check out bird dogs. And you can also go check out patreon.com slash the basement yard. Folks, we are so appreciative of you guys getting us over 26,000. Oh, my goodness. It's going to make a boy <laughs> cry and cream at the same time. But Don't no, say no, cream. no. Okay. <laughs> 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 but we're approaching 27, and we want to hit 27. Why? Because realistically, it's going to help us climb up those ranks. And we, we're so appreciative of all the love and all the support. And you can join today and get that first tier. Well, that gets you these weekly episodes one week in advance. Get in on the conversations, the idiocracy, the stupidity, the moronity, the, uh, every other adjective you can use to describe how stupid Joe is. And, and one week before anybody else. And then that second tier, well, that's where you get those weekly raunchy, nasty, flavorful, farty maybe. I don't know. Exclusive <laughs> Patreon. I feel episode. like you're not selling it. <laughs> Exclusive pa- <laughs> People want to hear your farty. Uh, no, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> no, you got exclusive episodes every single Friday morning at 7 a.m., which means you can start and end your week with The Basement Yard. Is there any better way for all of our friends? Just more of us, right? Uh, so go check it out, patreon.com slash basement yard. We thank you for 26. We're going to keep going until we reach that number one spot, baby. We're coming for you. Uh, Shane Gillis, we're going to get you one day, maybe. I don't know. He's got a lot. It does. But uh, go check it out, patreon.com slash the basement yard. Joe! <laughs> Back to you. Yeah, um, I think we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about the we found alien bodies in Mexico. We, we didn't. We didn't. I mean, we as in the Earth, the Earth of we of us, Mexico. Can I? Can, all right. Real question though. Yeah. Do you believe it's real? Fucking absolutely not, dude. I hope it's not. What? First of all, the aliens were like this big. Hard for me to be afraid of something. This That's big. why. And it had like three eggs in them? Yeah, that's... And I was like, bro, what's going on it's Fucking, I don't want this shit. You know what that means? That means that alien got raw dick. Of and course they... Of course they do. But they're carrying around three eggs in them? They Maybe they gave birth in threes? <clears throat> that's miserable. That's scary, dude. For the vaginas. Yeah, for the alien vaginas. Imagine giving birth to triplets. Vagina, bro. I mean, most of the time... My understanding from stories I've heard, most multiple births outside of twins are C-section because that's just – that's a lot. I have a question, and I don't know if you know the answer, and it might uh, be But dumb. guess what? Guess what? Watch this. I'm going to know even if I don't. Go. I'm confused by that. I'm going to pretend to know. Mm-hmm. Again, this might be a stupid question, but – Probably most likely is. Shut up. All right, Joey, hit me with hit me with the dumbest question you got. <laughs> it's not the dumbest question I have, but it is a question. If you have twins, let's just say twins, make it easy. Okay. Do is there two separate umbilical cords or is there just like it goes one and then it just Oh wait. Good. <laughs> I thought they were like on a string and like continued <laughs> and like the next ones get the same thing. You know what I mean? Oh, well, they, it's not like you eat one and one gets one time. But is there two cords? Uh, I mean, it de- so it depends. To my understanding, it depends. Um, I believe... No, I believe it's one because the pl- there's one placenta. Right. It's just a big old bitch. What's well, a placenta? It's a bag of food. It's a bag of food, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 the whole, it's a bag of bloody food. It's the whole thing. It's the whole thing. What's the whole thing? The placenta. But what's in the whole thing? You know, and then... No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I think it like it's like one attaches to the mom, and then it fucking like breaks attaches off. Attaches to the mom. Like one, one cord. To the placenta. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then like the nutrients go in there and they're like, all right, we're going to bring, we're going to bring half a French fry to this guy, half one to that guy. So there's two separate cords, so, but then it's the belly button. Well, the babies don't share a cord. Like it's not like the, it like goes up and it's like a T-shaped between the two so of them. So there's two separate cords. You get two different belly buttons. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's, you can't. Also, why isn't this our mouth? If we started eating here, why do we eat here? Well, it closes off. We, we, we've, through time, we've figured out how to eat with our mouths. Yeah, I know. But I'd like, much why? rather not eat with my mouth. I'll be I honest I would rather with just you. sit at the table. And, and just, just shove <laughs> fucking hamburgers into my belly, dude. <laughs> Let's go like this. You know? 100%. Like, that's it. It's so dumb. We eat here, but not here. I, I no, uh, uh, opposite, opposite. We eat there, but not here. Yeah, I would much rather just be like, oh, fucking hot dog. Just shove it in my fucking belly button. <laughs> That would be so, you know how, because when you eat, you have to stop talking, and you know how much I love to talk. Oh, I don't, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like, I also hate how you eat. You always put food to the side of your mouth like a fucking chipmunk, and you talk. And I what? You talk. I don't do that anymore. Anymore, but you grew up doing that a lot, and I that's did. all I care about. You did it when you were younger, so you'll do it forever in my eyes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Frankie believes in second chances. I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm I think there's there's so then there's two umbilical cords. I think there's two umbilical cords, but it's like there's like one placenta. Yeah. One big bag of food. One old big old bag. You know, and think of it like Do you have to eat double? I would ass- honestly, from someone that's not been pregnant, I can't imagine to know, but I'm gonna pretend like I do. You never talked to your mom about this? Your brothers were twins. That she'd be like, yo, I eat two turkeys to feed these kids. I, I think I, th- I think she was probably very hungry because of the energy that it takes to fucking carry around two children inside of you. Yeah, it's a toughie. It's a, uh, yeah. It's a little tough, yeah. Uh, it's it's kind of hard. Two, yeah, two, two's tough. Two is tough. One, One is a breeze. Come on, figure it out, ladies. <laughs> Just, it's a kid. <laughs> I'm kidding. They can't even read. As someone that shared a house with someone while they were pregnant, wild stuff. Yeah, I think like they're like they're insatiable because of the energy it takes to grow a child. Same with like breastfeeding. Yeah, your sister will know a bunch about that. Ask your sister. Yeah, I mean, well, I, no, I know about like breastfeeding. I feel like I'm basically a lactation consultant at this point. Oh shit! But <laughs> yeah, because that's I mean, she is. So now I just know everything. But uh, I never. <laughs> I feel like Shan would probably punch me in the face if I asked her about the umbilical cords. Why? She'd be like, "Hey, should I Google it right now?" How many cords are there for twins? How many twins? umbilical cords for twins? Maybe there's one main road, but there's two exits. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, oh man, I had it's it. It's probably two separate cords. How many umbilical cords for twins? Does each twin have an umbilical cord? It doesn't matter if they're identical or fraternal. All twins, triplets, etc., have their own umbilical cords. That ah. means no matter what, there will be a cord blood and cord tissue that could be... So then them. your dad that day, he had to make two cuts. He was like Edward Scissors. Yeah, he was there. definitely 100% like out there like Edward Scissors. But I think you don't do them at the same time. They probably go like, here's the first one cut. Oh, the next one's coming. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know? My brothers were only a minute apart. Yeah, isn't that nuts? My mom ain't got no downtime, dude. She was, they were just like... <laughs> yeah, Chris, Chris came out, and then it was like immediately like, oh, Nick's right behind him. Damn, dude. What the hell does that feel like? I don't, I can't, I have no idea. It must have felt like, you know what's crazy? Back in the day when you didn't know that you were having twins, you're like, am I having a giant what? baby? If they were like close? Well, they say that, um, and they, by they, I mean, not us. Uh, <laughs> that like, they need to, like women that are giving birth need to experience birth twice because they have to birth placenta. the placenta after. The bag of food. The bag. And then, uh, you know, so it's like basically... If you give birth to twins and then you got this fucking Santa sack coming Three, out. Yeah, you got Santa sack. You know what I'm saying? Three births. That's crazy, dude. Didn't that one bitch have eight? Yeah, that's people having like eight fucking kids at the same time. How? What do you look like? Bro, not only that, but back in the day, people used to die because they gave birth to a child like during Game of Thrones times and shit. I mean, it's... Bro, it's this bitch gave eight. Joey, Survive Game of Thrones. the one. Come on, Joey. Th- Game of Thrones times. It's like fucking 12. It's the year 12, you know? Like, yeah. of course that shit. First of all, it's hard and scary, period. You know, yeah, that's yeah. like basically major surgery. Oh, crazy. You know, especially if it's like cesarean. Then it's literally they have to take your organs out and like put them on your fucking chest. 
I don't know about that. No, that's what they do. They really? take the organs out and they like rest them on the girl. That's why the hood is like up here. Hold on. Time. T out. Time. Yeah. What organs? Whatever the fuck is in front of the 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 baby sack. Intestines. Yeah, in, in like whatever organs they need to remove. If I saw my own intestines, I'd kind of be hype. I'd be honest. I'd be like, those are hype, good looking intestines. Hype. <laughs> hype. For but, what? Um, what intestines move? What? What are you googling right now? I'm looking up what intestine during a C-section, your organs are usually just moved aside so the doctor can see your uterus better. But yeah, the dude, organs, they don't put them on the fucking table. In rare cases, the intestines may be temporarily lifted out for better visualization, visual, visualization and space to operate. Just fucking take this. <laughs> <laughs> fucking lasso your small intestine across the room. I want to touch intestines. Though. I want to touch organs. I, I have touched organs. Have you? Yeah. Vaginas. My God. Wrap it up. Wait, wait, wait to go. No, put those down. Put those down. Yeah. Uh, when one of my uh, like forensic classes, they had bought in like body like parts from a cadaver, and it was like this is a healthy liver. This is an alcoholic liver. How was that? Wild, dude. Was it wild? healthy liver? Looked really fun. Like cool. The liver looks gross to me. But bro, the alcoholic liver was Black. like hard as rock and white. Oh, ew. Yeah, dude. It was crazy. I don't like that. And then they always do the one where it's like smoker's lungs, non-smoker's lungs. Yeah. That shit is crazy. Yeah. That was enough to keep me off the cigarettes. Yeah. Well, so Mexico found aliens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they were dusty looking. Why do those aliens look so dusty? Well, they were mummified remains, I believe. Who mum mum mummed them? The, the the Mexicans. The Mexicans mummed the fucking aliens, Apparent. and then they unearthed them, and then we're like, look, we got these mummified aliens. I just gotta say, not a good look for humans. If we are terrified of these things, and they are that much smarter than us, and they're, they're like, big. and they're that big, not a good look for us. No, dude. we got people like Shaq walking around, and we can't figure out how to get past the moon. I can definitely kill an alien. Yeah, it makes me less afraid of them, which is not a good thing. Well, I don't. I believe that's bullshit. Like, I just think that it's a you know, it's, it's a, a hoax. hoax. It's a classic Mexican hoax. A classic. <laughs> it's a classic Mexican hoax. Is what it it's is. The Mexicans pulling one on us yeah. again. Yeah. You guys don't get to ha get to have the best food and then have like the aliens too. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. No. No way. Absolutely yeah, no. not. I'm not about it. And I think that you guys are you're, you're fucking with us. Here. You know what you're doing here, yeah, Mexican Congress? Crazy. Really? Never heard of that before. <laughs> You made Congress to say you had aliens? Yeah, don't think so. I don't, know. I, like I don't know. They're all paid actors. Yeah. Joe uh, Biden is probably behind uh, this. Joe Biden is definitely behind this. You know who told me that? <laughs> Those fucking aliens kind of look like Joe Biden, honestly. Uh, what would you do if the aliens sat up? And I was like, oh, my son Hunter. <laughs> Your son did crack. Oh, that was really good right there. Was it? Yeah, that was a really good one. Uh, I, I am... Obviously, I don't believe it. I'm going to be the guy that doesn't believe it until I shake hands with an alien. You know what I mean? Like, they'll be like... Yeah, I need an alien to, like, spit at me or something. Mm. Not like... Ew, not like that. Well, why do you say it? I don't know why I said that. <laughs> but I was thinking, like, sp their spit would be, like, radioactive. Like, he would spit on the wall and it would make a hole in the wall. So <laughs> you're only thinking in terms of alien and aliens and alien versus predator. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Which I mean, I've seen none of those, by the way. Oh, you just know that they have acid spit. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. It's cool to imagine. Those aliens are scary. Those are very scary, yeah. They I got the mouth and then the little mouth that comes out, the little fucking... I don't like that. Yeah, it freaks, I don't you, out, like freaks you out a little mouths. bit. Also, things with big teeth. I really hope aliens don't have big teeth. If aliens have big teeth, I'll be pissed because I've made fun of enough people with giant teeth in my life to not... Oh, I'm talking about like sharp teeth. Oh, okay. All right. Not big teeth. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if they can hear us like making have, fun like, of each other. Big veneers or something. <laughs> No, I'm talking about like big, come out sharp like, teeth. Tony Robbins is an alien. He's got giant fucking teeth, dude. And he's a big fuck. He's a, yeah, he's like six six, right? Or something. Like, I think he's like six nine. Honestly, get the fuck. Yeah, bro, he's got to be an alien. You see those sunken in eyes, those giant teeth. There's no way he's real. And he like sat. He looks like what I imagine a Neanderthal would look like. Uh oh, which is way more hair. Though. Gotcha. Okay, well, <laughs> uh oh, that seemed like. Also, a... is it Neanderthal? 
I believe it is. Because people say Neanderthal. Who the fuck says that? People. Whom? I, just people. If oh, you ever come across one of those people, shoot them in the face. They say Neanderthal. No, no one, like, no one says that, Joey. You're also making stuff Ibiza up. Also, Ibiza and Ibiza. Well, that's because there is like the regional dialect is. I know that like that's probably how you pronounce it, but like, it's Ibiza here. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna call it what we call it here. Hundred percent. Yeah. Not Mexico. Ibiza. Mexico, not Mexico. Yeah, like where, where would you be offended if I sat here saying Mexico? It would be, be like, Joe, shut up. Joe, it would be way worse if you were like, uh, can I have uh, two tacos birria? You know, like it would be way worse. Birria tacos are fucking gross. Very good. But you know how I love Dunkin' shit. Bro, uh, with a good little fucking fresh consomme on the side and you just fucking whap it? Yeah, I just, <sighs> I'll fucking sink it. Have sink you ever had one shit. of those tacos, like they're like cooked tacos? You know what I'm they're talking They're all cooked. No, listen to me. Like they like, they put it in like they put the they fill the taco and they put it on the stove and like cook it in like a sauce. No, you're not gonna answer. <laughs> they they what they do? Sink it into no. Like they put like they fill the taco and then they put it back on the thing and like cover it in cheese. Oh yeah yeah yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, that was really good. Becca gave me some. She got some last week and I had them. Fucking yeah, bananas. I like anything that I could that comes with a little pool that I could dunk it in. What's your favorite dunkable food? I can't. I can't pick something. Hmm. It's got to be tacos for me. Now that I'm thinking about it. But that's not traditionally a dunkable. All right. So what are you thinking? Like a donut? Do you are you a donut? <laughs> never dunked a donut. I was gonna say, are you a donut dunker? Like the cops and all those fucking shows where they're like, "Eh, we got a <laughs> fucking double homicide on our hands." Oh, we gotta answer. We gotta get to it. We talk too much. Uh, <laughs> we talk too much. I'm sorry. Uh, we have SeatGeek here, guys. SeatGeek is where I buy all of my, uh, you know, tickets to sporting events, Broadway plays, concerts, whatever it is. You want tickets? They got them. Uh, but it's the best. They have over 28 million down, uh, 28 million downloads. Uh, they're num- the number one rated ticketing app uh, in the App Store. Um, but yeah, tic- uh, SeatGeek is amazing. I've been working with them for years. Anytime I buy tickets for anything, it's with that. And I like the fact that all the tickets are color coded. So if it's like a dark red, that means it's a horrendous ticket run the other way. Uh, and then it goes to like red and then I think yellow and then green and then dark green. Dark green is like, dude, this is a really good price. So you know when you're uh, being, uh, when the wool's being pulled over your eyes, so to say. Um, and you can save some money on some tickets. And like I said, the summer's still here. Weather's still nice. Get out there. Go to like a football game, baseball game, something. Uh, you can get $20 off of your first purchase with the promo code BASEMENT. Uh, but make sure you click the link in the description. Or, uh, you, you know, just use the code when you download the app. So download the app. Use the code BASEMENT for $20 off of tickets at SeatGeek, okay? Uh, again, that is SeatGeek. And uh, $20 off with the code BASEMENT off of your first purchase, all right? So... Get to it, folks. And lastly here, we have Factor. Factor is America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. Uh, Can help you fuel up fast with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. And these meals are fresh, never frozen. Uh, They're ready in just two minutes. All you have to do is heat them up, and then you enjoy them. And they have ones uh, for people if they have certain goals, like if you want, uh, you know, you're doing a cut or something they have calorie smart meals that are less than 550 calories uh or they have like you know protein packed meals with over 30 grams of protein in every meal um so they have stuff for whatever diet you're going to be on or whatever you're doing uh but you can head to factormeals.com slash basement 50 and use the code basement 50 to get 50 percent off that's code basement 50 at factormeals.com slash basement 50 and you will get 50 percent off so Get to it, folks. 50% off is wild. And they have like a bunch of great stuff. Apple cinnamon pancakes, bacon and cheddar, egg bites, potato, bacon, and egg breakfast skillet. They have a whole bunch of stuff. So like I said, never frozen, ready to eat. Heat them up in two minutes. Boom, you're good. So factormeals.com slash basement50. And that's that. Hmm. Where were we saying? Dunkable foods. Dunkable foods. Your favorite dunkable food. Dunkaroos. That's a that's not a food. It's a snack. Pretzels. <laughs> snack. What do you dunk those in? Cheese. You dunk pretzels into cheese. Pigs in a blanket. 
<clears throat> we're getting warmer, yeah. Yeah, we're getting there, right? That's your favorite, though. What's my favorite? Mozzarella sticks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't, I won't, I won't eat a oh fries. Probably, I have to. I, I'm not a big. Do you raw dog fries? I don't. I, I'm not a big fry guy. If I am having fries, though, there's got to be ketchup involved. There's got to be yes, or least. some some something. some dippable substance. Something wet. I can't. Yes, I need to just shove it into something wet. I can't eat it dry. Mm, yeah, for a lot of things, those two things. Shove it in it wet. What the fuck? And you can't eat it dry. Fuck you. You know what? I'm talking about French. Fuck you. I'm, I'm talking is... about French fries here, Joey. I'm talking about sex with a woman. Uh, oh. Okay. I thought you were meaning like, well, like, like wiener sucking. Oh no! I, I thought you were insinuating about, that I that I've sucked. You're wiener. like I gotta shove it in wet, something wet. And I'm like, yeah, nice. Uh, before, Shoving it in something wet is nice. You know? That's two vagina two, references. Joey's Joey's <laughs> fucking pussied out today. <laughs> I got two pussies just now, <laughs> right on the show. Boom. Um, I was never a, a dunker of donuts. You know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I don't drink coffee? coffee. I don't drink coffee. So yeah, but I don't even like. I drink coffee and I love donuts. I can't imagine why that would taste. I good. know it's coming. So next year, when European Joe comes back, or whenever you end up going on like a fucking like three town tour of Italy, <laughs> you're gonna start dunking fucking biscotti in coffee. I know you, and I know you're gonna sit. In like Rome and watch the fucking pigeons eat crumbs and then just dunk biscotti into a coffee. I know European Joe is going to do it. Probably. And it'll be an espresso too. Oh, you're not doing like the Americanized coffee where it's like, us Americans love it as dessert basically. I don't think there was any coffee in Portugal, honestly. It was just espresso. And wine. There was wine, let me tell you. Do you see what happened in Portugal? I did. Everyone has tagged me in You that. were two weeks too late, Joey. I wasn't. We drove, I think, through there on the way to Porto. But, like, we never were in that town. So we would have never seen it. For those of you guys that don't know what we're referencing, there was a um, winemaker's steel, like, drum. It's like 2.2 million liters of red wine ruptured and flooded the streets of Portugal. Yeah, people's, like, houses are flooded with wine. Oh, no. There are some alcoholics that are just like, this is a sign. I mean, if I was there, I'd be like, this would a cup. I'd be like, I would. Would you swim in it? Would you? Would you? Would you? I don't know, like, how long that would take to come off of my body, because like wine, like stains. There, no, I, I think I've seen something that there are like people that do like wine baths in like like high high end oh, yeah. spas. Didn't Amari Stoudemire do that once when he was on the Knicks? Maybe I'm not up to date on my Amari Stoudemire news, <laughs> so maybe he like converted. He was like Jewish out of nowhere, and then he took a wine bath, and I was like, oh. I don't know if those two things line up, do they? No, those are the only things I really remember about his time with the Knicks. Gotcha. Okay, <laughs> nothing else. Yeah. No. There was that one year he went off. I remember that. I used to be a big Amari fan. You remember that? I remember. You were a big Suns fan. I was. Him, Steve Nash. Who else was on that team? Raja Bell, Leandro Barbosa. Okay. Grant Hill. Okay. Those are all great players. My baseball... Look at me. My basketball knowledge stops at like the 2006 76ers. (laughs) This was probably back then. Yeah, it was. But like, you know, I was a big fan of like Chris Webber, Kyle Korver, Andre Iguodala's rookie season, Allen Iverson, you know. like Eric Snow. That was a great year for the Sixers. I was about to say Kerry Kittles. That's the Nets. You're talking another language to me. Basketball, again, I said baseball. Basketball is the one sport you could sit here and make up names, and I'd say, yeah. Like, there are people now where it's like <clears throat> Wemby and, and, uh, and, and Joka. You don't know who Jokic is? No. Frankie, you do. I swear to God, I don't. I watch zero basketball. You want to know current and basketball players that I know? Who won the finals? You want to know current basketball players I know? Seriously. LeBron James. Yeah. Steph Curry. Of course. You can't name other play- people on the Warriors, at least that. Well, when he was there, Kevin Durant. Okay. Um, uh, I was thinking, I, in my head, I swear to God, I thought Drew Hill, but that's, that's a singer. Isn't that- Drew Hill? <laughs> isn't that a singer? I'm pretty sure... There was a Drew Hill that played on LeBron's like high school team. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's who I'm pulling out of left field. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, You've named four. <laughs> Who's the other shooting guard on the Warriors? The Splash Brothers, Steph Curry and... Oh, um, Clay Thompson. Yes. Yes, okay, all right, I got that one. Um, then who's the other one that like always got into fights? <laughs> on the Warriors. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 
Um, <clears throat> give me give me a first initial D. Draymond Green. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, honestly, that's crazy. Wouldn't be able to. Who's tell the you. white dude on the Mavericks? He's like the only he's white. Foreign. He's foreign. The only. Oh, the uh, you, honestly, the only name that comes to mind is Dirk Nowitzki. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. White foreign. Okay, wouldn't be able to tell you. Any. What What about the guy on the Bucks? Oh, the Greek freak. What's his name? Uh, you don't have to say his last name. Uh, uh, Giannis. Yes. And 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 Yeah. I know that one. And you also know. Uh, how do I? I remember the Ball brothers. Who you said? The <laughs> That's what their names were, right? What are their names? Lamello. Yeah. Lorenzo. <laughs> yeah. No? No. <laughs> Lorenzo. Lamello. Lamello. Lorenzo's not one. No. Close. Lawrence? How is that close? Lorenzo Lawrence. You take out some letters from Lorenzo. No. Some people have what what say it? I was gonna say Lauren. Lauren Ball. I don't know. Joey, I don't know. Lonzo. Lonzo, okay. Yeah. And then the third one, you probably wouldn't know. What was the first one I named? Lamello. Lamello. Lonzo. And then Jello. Hmm? Jello. Jello? I think his name's D'Angelo. Oh, stupid. But yeah, I'm not. I'm the NBA is so far. You could honestly like make up like fake names and tell me that they are real players. I can't believe they know Joe Kitch. They they won the the finals. Who? Nuggets. Joe Kitch. Yes, J O K I C. I don't know. He's Serbian. Oh, his name. He's like one name, like Seal. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Seal. I thought his name was like first name Joe, last name Kitch. <laughs> It's Jokic. Okay. But like... What's his real name? Jokic. That's it. No, like, there's no, like... Yeah, it's like Seal. Jokic. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> wouldn't be able to tell you any... Kyrie Irving. Come on. Oh, he's still in the league? Yeah. I didn't know. I, oh, um... Anyone on Boston? These are famous players. One starts with a J. It's actually like the first half of his first name. J. J. Oh, um, I actually I do know this one, and I know it because of Barstool. Uh, Jason. Yep. Totten. <laughs> no. Okay. Obviously not. Tatum. Tatum. Okay. I was close. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Uh, I, like I don't really know basketball. But like I can that, name but... like I can name like fucking video game stuff that you've never heard of. Yeah, I I assume. Yeah. Exactly. And also probably baseball. I, I I don't. That's like this is for baseball for me. I mean, I probably know more baseball players than you know basketball players. Yeah, probably. But like, I can't. Like, there's so many players that I would not. I'd be like, never heard that name before in my life. Yeah, no, no, no. That's basketball is. I'm I'm I've been out the game for a while. Yeah, that's kind of. Some would argue I've never been in the game. <laughs> some some would argue that. <laughs> Joe Kitch. I don't know, Joey. What do you? Oh, fucking. How how am I supposed to know basketball? I'm not playing it. I'm not living it. Maybe I'll maybe that's what my homework will be. I'll fucking just start like getting super into basketball this season. Really? Yeah. Mm. And I'll just like hit you up and just be like, damn, because I have been getting super into F1. What a big day for Verstappen. <laughs> what a huge day a couple weeks ago. I was got. What's Verstappen's first name? Max Joey. Oh okay. Come on, Joey. How stupid do you think I am? Can you name? Two other drivers? Yes, I can. Can you? Yeah. All right, name them. Go ahead. You you name them. Go ahead. Or can you name one other one? Of course I can. So? I'm going to do it after you do it. I'm going to tell you if you're making one so up. So I'll name one and then you name one. Yeah, go ahead. Lewis Hamilton. That's the one I was going to name, Joey. Okay. That's the one I was going to come up with. Can you name any other Of course one? I can, but I'm not going to give you any answers because I know you're a fake fan. Okay. I love how fast they drive. I'm so impressed by just like that's the way to win. Yeah, it is. In the F1 Grand Prix. Wait, is, you can name another one. You remember you said someone's name and I'm like, how the fuck do you know that <laughs> yeah, name? Yeah. I already forgot it. <laughs> it starts with a the last name starts with a G. Yeah, Julo. I <laughs> I'm just I'm so impressed by like Gasly. the way that they like all they have to do is just stick true, drive fast. And the game is theirs, you know. Each race is really up in the air until they figure out who's going to drive the fastest. All you got to do is pedal the metal, baby. 
What does that expression even mean? Pedal to the metal. There's pedal. Behind it is normally metal. You hit it. There's not metal in my car. Behind the carpet there is. I think we need to update that. No, I think it's okay. Pedal to the metal? Yeah. Pedal to the, to the carpet. Oh, sure. Go ahead. If that's and you also can't you... put it on the floor, right? I think you can. I've never done it. Oh, I used to do it all the time in my dad's van. Oh, well, probably because your dad's van wasn't moving very quickly. <laughs> I used to just go... <laughs> it had a pretty good kick, actually. Did it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I've never I've never done that. I've always dre- like dreamt in my What's head. What's the fastest you've ever driven? Like 100 miles an hour. Oh, okay. But like... I was driving 100 miles an hour in Portugal because I didn't know I was driving that fast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, I I did it and would like lo- I like looked at the speedometer. I was like, oh, my God. And I like slowed down. Well, I'm looking at the speedometer and it says I'm going 160 kilometers. I'm like, I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's scary. Those kilometers will get you. They don't have the thing on there where it has like here. No? No, I, I mean, maybe. I, I was looking at it and I was like, well, I'm going. I don't know how fast I'm going. Was this before, after, during the wine? This was This was in the middle. You should know that you weren't drinking wine when you were driving. No, no, no. I'm saying I was drinking wine. Then I wasn't and was driving. Oh. Not the same day. Gotcha. Oh, that's why I asked. No, Joey. I had to drive like fucking two and a half hours. I wasn't drinking and driving uh-huh. in a foreign country. That's the worst place. To <laughs> Not even. I mean, I wouldn't do it here either. Yeah, I was kidding. <laughs> Over there? Yeah. <laughs> Not there. Here, where it's celebrated. Yeah, I just love F one. Shut up. I did get my. I did get my uh, wines. By the way. Oh, you did. Yeah, I'll show you a picture. I want. I'd love to. Did they? All I care about. Did they come in a crate? In a wooden crate, you had to open with like a crowbar. No. God damn it! That's that all I want. Awesome. That's all I want. I want wine in a wooden crate that I open and it has like the like hair underneath. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I have to like fucking like. No, it just came in like these two boxes. Oh, look! Look at this! Look how beautiful this is. When did you get it? Last well, yesterday, last night. How many have you drank so far? None. What is going on with my stupid? Come on, phone? Joey, phone. Whoa, dude. That's yeah. what, like 20 bottles? 24. Wow. But not all mine. Oh. We, I only got six. Oh, oh. It was you like got... everyone. We all sent it to my place. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But, gotcha. Mm. damn, that looks sick. It looks good. They're really good. Good for you. All reds? They, no. There was, I had three reds, two, no. Yeah, two whites and four reds. So more whites. Less whites. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on board. Yeah. <laughs> and then Pete got two ports. You like port? I don't know what that is. It's like a dessert wine. Oh, okay. No, I I, I wouldn't be able to. I'm not crazy about him. I've had him in restaurants. I don't really like him that Pete's much. Pete's a freak. He but always I... has to get something and just be fucking based. <laughs> but you. <laughs> Did I? I don't know. Did I? But there I had one and I was like, oh, this one's actually good. Because it's not as like. Cause they're like really sweet. Ah, I can't do that. And they're then. like high in alcohol too. Really? Yeah. That's well, fuck your balls. Well, you don't want balls. fucked. I don't want my balls fucked. Yeah. No. You want your balls fucked? What does that mean? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe hold them like this. Who wiener in between them. Oh, I don't want a wiener on my balls. Yeah. Well, that's why I asked if you wanted your balls fucked. Oh no, no, no. What if someone asked you to put your balls in them? I would love to do that. Really? I would love to do like stuff like that. that more never... ball stuff, huh? No, not more ball stuff. I'd, I'd just be like, and not, it would be like funny. It'd be like, oh, let's try to get my balls in here. Oh, there's no, there's no humor in my sex. It's all fucking business, baby. Jesus. You wear a suit and bring a briefcase? <laughs> let's, let's do this. Yeah. No, it's all I got to be out in three. Everything, everything's playful. <laughs> three? That's what you give me, Joe? Yeah. You said that. I No, I didn't. Did you say like three to eight minutes or something? Maybe something like that. <laughs> it's it's, it's, I gotta I be honest. I, I, I may have said that. It's it's really hard to remember most of the things I've said on the show. Mm, it's tough, but anyway, that's all we can do for today, Frank. Um, mm, I don't, what are you doing? I just want to hug with your hand. Well, after the show, just come over here and hug me. Got it. All right. Yeah. Where uh, well, where can they find you? F Alvarez eight eighty five on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on all the forms of social media. Then you can check out the Patreon, Patreon dot com slash the Basement Yard. Thanks for getting us twenty six. We want to keep climbing to twenty seven. We got some stuff cooking for you. We actually found out today we might be doing a collab with someone that might be pretty cool. I'm not going to say who because I'm a dirty little bitch. And then go check out the show everywhere you like the show at the Basement Yard. Yeah, that is all. Go follow the show at. Uh, oh, check him. Check him out. Check the. 
Yeah. At, so go check him out. At Joe, <laughs> as if you need my endorsement. At Joe Santagato on all forms of social media and go find uh, the show is on TikTok and Instagram at The Basement Yard and that is all. See you guys next time.